Hello, my name is Drita Simons. I am the director of the Chesapeake Mosquito Control Commission and I'd like to welcome you to a five minute guide to Asian Tiger Mosquito Control. This is the Asian Tiger Mosquito, our biggest pest problem and a potential vector of the Zika virus. She's a small black mosquito with white stripes and I'm sure most of you have been pestered by her in the middle of the summer. Asian tigers differ from a lot of other mosquito species because they lay their eggs inside artificial containers. When rainwater floods the eggs, these baby mosquitoes or larvae emerge. If you see little worms suspended from the surface of the water in a container, you probably have found Asian tiger mosquito larvae. The most important thing you can do to reduce Asian tiger mosquitoes is to eliminate the containers they lay their eggs in. In the hottest part of the summer, it takes a little over a week for Asian tigers to develop from eggs to adult. If you dump water out of containers every seven days, any larvae will dry up and the adults will never emerge. It doesn't take much water for this species to develop as long as it sits for at least a week. So remember, if it sits for seven, it's skeeter heaven. So tip and toss anything that can catch and hold rainwater. Some things are pretty obvious. And sometimes you will see larvae like this. You'll be preventing hundreds of mosquitoes in your own space and doing it with no expense or pesticide application. But let's think about it a minute. Hmm, what is a container? Will this clogged gutter hold rainwater? How about a corrugated downspout pipe? An open-ended pipe in the ground? What about a fold and a plastic tarp or an old tire? You need to think like a mosquito when you're checking your yard. Anything that holds water over a week will breed Asian tiger mosquitoes. But hey, what if you don't want to toss it? Who wants to get rid of your wonderful bird bath just to avoid mosquitoes? Well, you don't have to. If you scrub or just wipe the bird bath once a week, rinse it onto the ground, and refill with fresh water, you will be eliminating Asian tiger eggs. Sometimes you can't dump water once a week. You may be collecting rainwater for your plants or have a fountain too heavy to tip. There is a solution. If you can't tip and toss something once a week, you can treat the water with a larvicide to take care of the immature mosquitoes. There is a product that is available in most home and garden centers that is effective and very safe for you, your pets, birds, and even fish. The active ingredient is a bacterial spore that is very selective in targeting only mosquitoes and certain flies. It is mixed with ground corn cobs and formed into pellets or donuts. The formulation you use is up to you. Just make sure that you read and follow all label directions. So what can you do about adult Asian tigers? These little facts will help you. They are not strong flyers. If they are in your yard, they have come from somewhere close by. If you walk into your yard at any time of the day, they will sense your presence and come out to bite. But most of the time, they stay hidden in shady sheltered areas such as this. They love overgrown shady corners like this one. So if you don't want them in your yard, make your yard unattractive to them. They rest in low areas and love English ivy. So if you have some and you aren't too attached to it, you may want to consider getting rid of it. The neater your bushes and shrubs, the less cover they provide, so keep them pruned. And if you love your power tools, this is a great excuse to pull out the weed whacker. Our nighttime ULV spray trucks have limited success in reducing adult Asian tiger populations and are not the best treatment strategy. If you choose to spray your own yard, read the label. Make sure that mosquitoes are listed as one of the pests controlled. Read the label, use all protective apparel listed while mixing and applying, and read the label, do not overdose or underdose, and always apply to the Asian tiger resting areas we just discussed. Did I mention to read and follow the label instructions? It is important for your safety and success. Finally, do not treat flowering plants or shrubs. Many of the adult mosquito insecticides you may purchase may also harm honeybees or other pollinators. These beneficial insects will be protected if you avoid all flowering plants, even those with small inconspicuous flowers. The Mosquito Control Commission is here to protect your health and comfort, and we do many things to control many of the mosquito species found in Chesapeake. 
But Asian tigers live and lay their eggs in your backyard, so they are very difficult for us to control. Please know that the key to their control and potentially the control of Zika virus is truly in your hands. Be empowered and take action to protect yourself and your loved ones. Thank you.